I got sick with cancer and um, nothing worked, so they had to give me T cells and it worked. And now I'm five years cancer free. Why harness the immune system? Well, because the immune system is exquisitely specific. And over you know, hundreds of million years of evolution, what it has learned and what it can do is target bacteria and viruses very specifically without targeting normal tissue. We all have something called T cells or white blood cells in the body. And these are the cells that um, have the ability to kill anything that is foreign to the body. And to help um, kill the cancer cells who shouldn't be there, who are foreign, um, we develop a drug that has two parts to it. One end is going to bind to the cancer cell. The other end of the molecule will act as a beacon or an attractor to, to attract the T cells in the body to bind to our little product and therefore allow our T cells to kill the cancer cells. We're working in one area right now in clinical trials in a very rare form of eye cancer. It's called uveal melanoma, which is a very aggressive form of cancer. It very quickly after being diagnosed with eye cancer, it tends to metastasize in many patients into the liver. And other drug treatment that, is, that are available today are not effective in this area. Having a, an effective treatment would be a revolution for us. Because when you get diagnosed with something like this, which is extremely rare and extremely dangerous, it's, it transforms your whole outlook if you know that there's at least something you can do. It's that cost of development which can you know, reach hundreds of millions of pounds, um, even a billion pounds or a billion US dollars, really requires a, a huge amount of investor support to see those scientific discoveries in labs get into the real world clinical setting. I just kept fighting and I never gave up. I'm excited about leveraging the immune system to target cancers. I, I feel very strongly that we're going to be seeing more and more examples of this over the next two decades and increasing successes across previously untreatable cancers. Mm -hmm.